Snap! Snap? Who does say you know mad? See how I can look now. I can bust up your motor. See how I can look. Those of you that are always too quick to bring out your phone to film people without their knowledge, you put a misleading caption on the video, post it, and it goes viral. You have no idea how long that video can go in affecting that person's life. So, my people, my people, welcome back to my channel. Yes, my people. This is who I brought today to my channel. This Nollywood actor, Hak Anoku. Yes. So, I come across this video that Loki Udu is interviewing this our Nollywood actor. There is a time we heard that he is not well, okay? So, everybody was like, this man is not feeling fine, is going, you know, gaga. So, because of this thing, thank God, thank God today for Loki Udu that brought him out, you know, to tell the world what really happened to him. So, according to the interview, this our Nollywood actor explained that he was not going gaga. He was just a skit, no? It was just a, a film, a movie that he was practicing. In that movie, he has, a, he has to play a character of a mad person. So when they were in the movie, um, movie place or the 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 acting where he was acting so he just decided to move out you know just to meditate you guys will hear everything the way uh, this lucky would interview him and he will explain everything to us so let's just watch then i will come back and give my own opinion thank you very much brought out his phone took a video of you posted i wasn't even aware of it because i was not looking at anybody i was just concentrating on myself okay sir and the script okay sir sir i also heard something about your health that was a long time ago they said something about your health i don't know if you want to make a comment about it um they said a lot of stuff you know rumors can be rumors what were some things they said that you heard about they said I was sick, I was on drugs and all that. I'm, I'm not sick. I was not on drugs. Maybe I, they saw me depressed. You know, depression can bring stress. But for me to be on drugs, that's not true. And I, I'm not a madman. I'm very sane and I'm very healthy. I exercise a lot. I do my martial arts exercises. I do a lot of sports too, play basketball, sometimes volleyball. I can take good walks because walking is good exercise. I do a lot of stuff with, as the spirit commands is what I do, man. It's a free walk. I don't come to your house and knock on your door if I'm not invited. I just, I just want to be free, man. You know, like in the States, you're free. In England, you're free. Nobody looks at you. It's only in Nigeria that people stick out their necks from the windows to see if you have something or something or whatever it's very bad people should learn to take the block out of their eyes before they see the speck in mind mind your business and be of good character be a good soul or else you go to hell wow. it's as simple as that wow oh, <laughs> i wonder who posted that video actually that video had a long way it went in affecting his life Hi. he lost friends producers could no longer contact him for Can you imagine? a lot of money man i lost jobs i was jobless mm. people didn't care about me wow it was god who directed my footsteps onto good soil how he did it i don't know amen. and i'm giving glory and thanks to him all the time amen amen i went through pain oh I my went through god pain. 
if you wear my shoes, you will feel it. Oh my God. It was, I was heartbroken for these people to do this to me, man. I bring laughter to you, bring dancing to you. You don't pay me for it. It's my energy, my sweat, my thoughts, and the power of God in me that wow, does that. Wow, wow. Because I pray without season. That's in First Thessalonians 5, 17. Amen. So what is wrong with me teaching you not to be bad, but to be good? Because I'm an actor, I can paint, I can sculpt. I'm versatile in art. I had distinction in art when I was a kid in Loyola College of Baton. I just didn't have the opportunity to have people who love what I do to come and say, hey, man, we can help you. We love what you do. If it wasn't the stage that was leaving the stage and I didn't come back to Nigeria or in England, I wouldn't be this poor, you know. I would have been, I employed Caucasians. When I was a security officer, I employed Caucasians. They were working under me. The guy came back thinking I would have a good time in my own country. Look at the way the country mm. is uh, now. Forget it though. Just because it, someone's Nigeria. doing something good that you don't like it, and then you want to be like that person, then you decide to stigmatize the person. You know, it's not good to be antagonists against a good man because God is watching even if somebody's not watching. God is watching everybody. Your time will come. But my time now is to rise and shine. And I'm forgiving the people who wrote that. And I tell people, stop writing these things mm. against people. It's not a good character. It's a curse. And it'll affect you because the law of karma affects people. It comes back mm. to you. And then you say you're sick or you died out of this and that. That's because of the evil things you do to good people. And God have mercy on every one of us, man. It affected me so a great deal, you know. I, I, I had to do away with friends, some who were my friends stopped calling me friend, you know, both male and female. I was, you know, stigmatized in the industry, in the AGN, the Actors Guild of Nigeria, Directors Guild, Producers Guild, Marketers Guild, you know, gossips, backbiters, mummers. It was like, a spiritual and a physical war for me they kind of like left me on my own so i said it is i i am not alone i'm with jesus christ Amen. You know, even though Amen. my family Amen. has a negative uh, thought about me me and eric because uh, some people say i was on drugs or hard drugs i don't do hard drugs you know back in the days i used to smoke but not now anymore now it's, you know i never went into anything hard drugs i had self-control you know i was probably after a while i was, I was depressed and, and had to um, maybe ha have a little drink or well i drink is maybe star beer or, or wine you know that's it i don't drink hard liquor but i was just isolated because i never thought i would be betrayed by my own people wow you know it hurt wow. me so much just like what jesus had done unto him by Judas Iscariot. It's ah, wrong to betray people God. who love you. So after that video was posted, it went viral. Um, people could no longer invite you for jobs anymore. No, they didn't. They didn't. They believed the evil part of the story. Oh, wow. you were stigmatized. People avoided you. Actors, yeah. actresses, producers, directors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you couldn't really take care of your family like before anymore. No, I couldn't. Wow. What were some of the most difficult things you experienced? Why all this happened? What were what were like your lowest moments? It was you know when I was uh, left alone by my family, my immediate family. They deserted me. You know. Aye. Oh, they wow. hurt me a lot. My twin brother, even up till now, he doesn't believe that I'm not what the people say I am. But how? You know, all of them just deserted me, but it's okay. God is there. Wow, I feel, I feel slightly emotional at this moment. I can't imagine all the pains you've had to go through. Yeah, you know, you know, it was not easy. You know, my birthday, I saw it. I saw that even those friends I thought I had never even came out. Just one or two or three people who, who gave a little bit here a little bit there for me to have that cake baked and buy a few drinks from the people that came 
Or so the people who came over, I didn't even know them. Yeah. Oh my God. But that's what it is. Before, oh, my birthday was awesome, man. You see people just come and do a lot of stuff, good stuff. But I guess when they see me now, they'll have a change of mind. I like the way you speak. You're so eloquent, and the accent is not Nigerian. Um, where did you grow? I grew up a lot. Most times, are it was back in the my people. You guys have heard from this our Nollywood actor. Yes, you see, everything is just clear. One thing I have noticed in Nigeria is that anything they see, they will just video it and interpret it in their own way, the way they understand, the way they will get views, the way people will be want to be attracted to that video and watch it so that they get money or so that their, their channel will go viral. So, this man, you guys have heard everything that he said, that he was not mad, he was not you know, in this very day that they video him and posted, you, uh, and posted it, you guys even saw the people that videoed this guy, you know, driving along, and they just concluded in their mind that this guy is not feeling fine or is not okay. They just decided to video. Is that the solution to this man's problem? Even those people decided, and you saw this man that is not feeling fine, must you video this man and send it out, or going to the man to ask him what is the problem, to even see his response, to even see if this is truly not feeling fine. But instead, if people just people just video and post, I've come to notice something in Nigeria. You see, even though people had uh, 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 maybe the this accident somewhere, and people go there instead of people to help or to even rescue the people or to do something the simplest thing like face eight boss or face eight, what they will do, they will pick up their uh, smartphone and start videoing. This is exactly what happened to Junior Pope. Instead of people to try to help this guy, they start videoing this guy and start posting, you know, putting people into confusion. You guys have heard everything what he said. You know, he was a little bit depression. Even everybody was not even having, you know, uh, uh, um, movies. Um, he was not even have. They were not even inviting him to come and act anymore. No job for him. It was just this. How can him not depressed when he don't have job? There is no job. Nobody and everybody know that our country, Niger. When you don't have connection, you don't have people to help you. You are on your own. There is no place that you can go and say, "Okay, I'm not working." Oh, this is the organization. They they help people that are not working. The only thing this man knows is acting of film, and he can do anything, but nobody is giving him jobs because they believe that he's not well. Even his own family, how can, even though this man is not well, how can your own family abandon you when you needed them? How? How can they abandon him when he needed them most? Even his own twin brother. Well, my people, <laughs> you guys have heard from the horse's mouth because really, really, there's a time rumors came that this guy is not, they saw him on the street, you know, like a mad uh, 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 person, and he has come out now to was not mad, that it was just a character that she's, he's supposed to add. It was just a character he's supposed to add. So in the, in the location, he came out. He came out in that movie location. He came out to just to meditate, to take breeze. Then people just saw him and start 
snapping and posting it. And because of that thing, the thing really affected him that he could not even see any job. His family member abandoned him. Even the industry, they abandoned him. Nobody is calling him for any job anymore. You know? So, because of that, he went into depression. You know? Well, for me, oh, hmm. somebody that would just sit down abroad and one day decided that he's going back home to add film or to do something, maybe before, maybe then, but for now, I don't think, uh, I don't even see that, maybe that person has something upstairs. He has, his, his, his cocoa is not co co uh, uh, complete or it's not correct. So my people, you guys have watched the video, please comment in the comment section, like this video, you know, give me a thumbs up and share it. If you know you have been watching and you have not subscribed, please do me well to subscribe. I will really, really appreciate you. Thank you very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.